Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and we're going to give you tips for upgrading to version 2004, the May 2020 update. For those, and this is a video for those that actually have it visible, tried to upgrade their machines and it rolled back. So that means you went to Windows Update and there you saw that it was available. You click the download and install button. And when at some point it was installing, it created an error message or it just rolled back. It didn't work. And you're back at the Windows 10 version you were before. Um, that has multiple reasons for happening. And we're going to try to help you with some little tips here. The first tip that I would say is if you have a third party antivirus, so if you're using anything else than Windows security, I would recommend that if you have rollbacks to remove the antivirus, try the upgrade again. And if it goes through, you can reinstall the antivirus if you want after the upgrade is done. It is known that one of the biggest issues in every Windows update is the antivirus because it can interfere in some way with some of the processes and some of the things that Windows is trying to do uh, to upgrade. Also, it is known that antivirus software makers are a little slow in updating their systems and their software to make sure that it is compatible with the latest uh, Windows operating systems. The second thing that I would recommend is make sure that your drivers are up to date. That is also a common issue. You might have older drivers and these drivers might still, because some of you are not seeing the update because your drivers might be too old. That's one thing. But some of you might actually see the update with specific drivers, but those drivers are still a little old and sometimes uh, make it um, impossible for the operating system to actually go ahead. So especially the display adapters and things like that. So check for driver updates from your manufacturer and apply them before upgrading. That might give you that missing link that little something that the OS couldn't go through and suddenly it will go forward if you update and have a lot or have some USB devices connected always every update and even in a clean install of Windows um, every tech guy is gonna tell you unplug everything from the USB ports make sure your computer has almost nothing plugged in and upgrade a lot of devices on usb can actually um, have problems or create problems while the upgrade process is going on external hard drives could be a problem also if you have multiple hard drives they could all create weird um, you know upgrade paths and windows gets lost and then it rolls back because you just can't continue so printers external hard drives anything that you're using that is not necessarily while you're upgrading should be removed. You could also check out what's your startup items. You can right click under the task bar, go into the task manager, click the startup tab. And here, make sure that anything that is unnecessary is disabled. Everything, disabled everything pretty much. So for example, I don't use Skype on this machine, disable. And anything that you see that is not necessary, disable them. You can even disable stuff that you use, but what you could do is re-enable them after the upgrade is done. This will also um, help you in giving the best chances possible for the upgrade. And don't forget, if you're about to update your system and you've used your computer for a few hours, one of the best things you could try is simply go and restart your computer. By restarting, before you start the big process of, you know, starting up that install process, it will, you know, kind of clean the RAM, clean everything, and you're going to restart fresh 
no background process that maybe is going to be stuck or going to be there while it's trying to upgrade and um, hopefully all will go for the best so these are little tips and tricks that you can try if uh, there's a failed upgrade on your system if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching